Hey everybody, we're back. We're doing an, another experiment. We're going to be testing out all the grips that we've got available in-game Ghost of Tabor. Just going to be using the same two weapons as before. I'm going to try to do this test as quickly as possible, but it is going to be a little bit longer. Uh, just to explain how this will work, I'm going to be firing each one of these weapons. Uh, two magazines, fully automatic, facing that wall. I'm going to start off with no grip. Then I'm going to work my way up, starting with the FSG and ending up with the uh, angle grip over there on the far right. Uh, this is uh, completely scientific. This is exactly how uh, we should be testing this. So <laughs> I hope it works out. Uh, hope you enjoy and hope that you can learn something from this. First off, to reiterate real in brief, what you cannot see on your screen is that my hands are going to be resting on a table here. So, while the rifle itself will be moving and fighting and bucking and everything else, my hands are stuck fast on the table. And so I will be unable to counter with any kind of recoil control or anything like that. We shall begin our test, firing fully automatic. 30 round mag, no grip. Next up, we have the FSG grip. Firing fully automatic. Next up, we've got the Chris Vector T grip. Firing. Here we have the Halo Mini Grip. Firing. Next we have what is known as the Combat Grip. Firing. Next we have the RK-6, firing. Next we have the shift foregrip, firing. And finally, we have our angle foregrip. Next test with the ever popular AK Alpha gripless. Firing. Next up, FSG grip. 
Firing. Here we have the Chris Vector T-Grip. Firing. Back to the Halo Grip. Firing. We have the combat grip. Firing. Next up, the shift grip. Firing. Here we have the RK6 grip. Firing. <coughs> and finally, the angled. All right, after all that, what are our conclusions? Obviously, AK Alpha has the lowest recoil. We don't need to talk about that anymore. The other conclusion that I've come to is, if you have a weapon, get yourself a grip. Doesn't matter what it is, just get something on there. It will help. If all you can find is the FSG, okay, deal with it. Obviously, you're looking for something better. As soon as you start hitting the metallic style grips, things get a little bit easier. Personally, I don't like the Combat 4 grip. I don't know what it is, but when I am trying to counter the recoil on it, I don't know, the recoil pattern just seems awfully funky to me. But when we were doing the test, the best thing that came to mind was the Shift 4 grip, obviously the angle, but the Shift 4 grip, you find these everywhere. And it seems to do a pretty good job for what it was. If I couldn't get find uh, shift foregrip and all I had was uh, the halo, I'd be pretty happy with that. I don't know. Oddly enough, I wasn't too terribly impressed with the ARK-6. It's not a bad grip. Not a bad grip at all. But for the price, buying it right now, eh, I, I think I'd rather either spend the extra money, go with the shift, or go with the cheaper option of the halo. Obviously, prefer the RK angled over all of them, but take what you can get sometimes. All right, those are the conclusions. Hope it was helpful for someone. Thank you very much.